Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostle elders, a great millstone who rule well, and salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shakti from the Chicago camp coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And as usual, uh, it's that time of year for Thanksgiving. And as I was pondering this, I asked myself, for our people that are not in the truth and many people that just don't know any better, I asked myself, what what purpose could there possibly be to celebrating Thanksgiving now? I mean, there never was, but I mean, especially right now. Okay, the stimulus package is about to run out. Many of you all, about 20 million of you will be homeless either by the end of the year or for sure the beginning of the next year. All right, 50 million of you all, and that's probably lowballing it, will be unemployed. Most of you all are waiting 12 hours in food pantries. They're talking about they're going to force the boogeyman on you. Retail and small businesses are closing down. Most of you all can barely keep a roof or put food on your table. So what's to be thankful for? The scripture says, I think I might be thinking about two of them at the same time. One is mirth and one is, uh, deals with uh, crying. There's an urge for wine in the street, something like that. Mm. It is... Oh, it's in the same one in Isaiah. Okay. Isaiah 24. Man, I'm going to start at one. Isaiah 24 and one, it says, Behold, Yahweh maketh the earth empty <laughs> and maketh it waste. And turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. Wow. And how is the uh, Lord making the earth empty? By taking all the mirth out of it. Arrow, all the, the wickedness that people took pleasure in. The Lord's taking it away. All the things that's just complete folly. Things that distracted people. From the Lord. Hey, he's just taking the joy out of it. Halloween. Thanks killing. Jobs. Housing. Lord's just taking it all away. And he said he's making it waste. Ooh, we gotta we gotta get the word on that one. Isaiah 24. Didn't make it that waste. Ooh wee. Balak. To waste, to lay waste. Ooh, devastate. To make waste, devastate it. A primitive to annihilate. Ooh. Whoa. So it says, Behold the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh and annihilates it and turneth it upside down, right? Because you, you people in this earth, all right, you're calling evil good and good evil. And so the Lord's turning it back around. 
All right. That which is righteous is about to be righteous and remain righteous. Okay. He said it scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. All right. You got a lot of these people leaving these big major cities because they know what's about to go down in the next couple of days. They know that the cost of living is going up. All right. Here in Chicago, uh, Larry Lightfoot wants to make your property taxes as high as your mortgage. And all the loopholes you have to jump to uh, just to have a business. Hey, man, folks are getting priced out the city. So they're leaving. It's a mass exodus out of Chicago. And it says, and it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with the mistresses, as with the buyer, so with the seller, so, whoo, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to them. The Lord said he's going to make all these people, he's going to annihilate them. And scatter them everywhere. It says the land shall be utterly empty. Now you go to these big major cities. You go to downtown. The most chief place of concourse. It's a ghost town. Businesses are boarded up. All right here in Chicago. You have businesses on opposite side of the streets. They're teaming up and making these little plastic bubbles. On the street. Just so they can keep their businesses open. They literally have certain sections of streets completely blocked off. So they can still find a way to keep their business open. Okay. It says the earth mourneth and fadeth away. Why? Because all the, the, the wickedness that people took joy in. It's going away. It's all going away. Okay, profiting off the, 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 the hard earned labor of people, that's going away. The the overt and blatant draconian oppression. All right, now that's being put on them. Okay, the people who used to profit from it now is being turned around on them. Thus saith Deuteronomy 30 and 7. Can't find a job. Folks have no hope. Suicides have doubled. I, what, I can't remember what show I watched. It might have been Dave Hodges on the Common Sense Show. But he already he said that suicides had were already bad before the boogeyman. But he said now since the boogeyman has just run loose everywhere, suicides have increased in all categories. So from young all the way up to old, it's possibly tripled. Tripled in all categories. Now we all know the biggest demographic of, uh, of, of suicides, people who commit suicide, it was mostly Edomite males, Usually from the age of about 35 to 55. But now these suicides are all across the board and they damn near triple. Okay. Folks are mourning. All right. All the joy is being taken away. It says in the world language and faded the way the haughty, the prideful people of the earth do languish. Because the good old U.S. of A that they used to know is gone. The normalcy that they used to have, the freedom, the luxury to party and bullshit, all that stuff is gone. It says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Right. You people thought you could do all this oppression. All right. All this wickedness. All these things that were not pleasing to the Lord and get away with it. No. No. Galatians 6 and 7 clearly tells you that, <laughs> that God is not mocked. 
for whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reapeth. <laughs> so all the wickedness you put into the world, you didn't think it was going to come back on you? It says, uh, the earth also is defiled under the heavens there because they have oh, transgressed the laws. Celebrating these wicked holidays, feeding people pork. As I said before, blatant and overt draconian oppression. Greed. It says, change the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. It says, therefore hath the curse devoured the earth. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. It says, the new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. So I ask you once again. If you're not doing the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, seriously, what do you have to be thankful for? If it's not for the fact that the Lord woke you up out of that satanic slumber, all right, and you're finally living a righteous life, to the best of your abilities, that is, trying to please the Most High, man, what the hell do you have to be thankful for? The only thing that you need to be thankful for in this, wor in this world is, is the fact that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai woke you up out of this satanic slumber. He sent his son down to die on the cross so that you may have a chance to be forgiven for your sins and receive salvation. That's the only thing to be thankful for. And if he woke you up, hey, you got another day to get things right. And if you got your health... Hey, man, that, that, that's a beautiful thing, too. Outside of that, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing to be thankful for. Me personally, man, if, ain't, if it ain't dealing with this truth, you know, it's, it's it, to me, it's like whatever. So, just wanted to give you something to think about on this Uh folly day of thanks killing so i hope you all were edified until next time i want to say shalom